Today I'll be showing you how to use manipulatives to teach kindergarten math. Manipulatives can be used to make what students are learning more concrete because it's visual and tangible. And today you'll see how to use math manipulatives to teach addition, subtraction, and multiplication. You can use math manipulatives to teach multiplication to young students. For example, take the problem 3 times 3. Sierra, my student, will demonstrate. Good job, Sierra. By setting up three groups of three, she can now see that three times three is literally three, three, and three. And now, to help make this even simpler, she can count using one-to-one -one correspondence to see how much three times three is equivalent to. She will now show you with five times two. By making two groups of five, Sierra can now see that five times two is the same thing as saying five plus five. So we have two groups of five, which equals out to 10. And again, to make it simpler, if she didn't understand the concept, she could then go ahead and count one by one to figure out five times two. Great job, Sierra. I'll be showing you how to use math manipulatives to solve subtraction problems. My student Chris will show you how to do 10 minus 4 using these little pom-pom balls. So now that he has a group of 10, which he counted out, now he can take away 4 pom-pom balls. Now doing this, he can count the leftovers to find out what his answer is. One, two, three, four, five, six. Good job. Now he'll show you eight minus three. Now by making a group of eight, he can now take away three. And now he can count what's left over to find his answer. One, two, three, four, five. Awesome, good job. Lastly, my student Evelyn will show you how to use math, math manipulatives to conduct addition problems. She will now show you 2 plus 3 using her math manipulatives. Great, so now by setting up a group of 2 and a group of 3, she is using one-to-one -one correspondence by showing that 2 represents 2 balls and 3 represents 3 balls. And by counting them all, she comes to her answer. Go ahead and show us 4 plus 5. Awesome, now she has two groups and can count one by one to find her answer. Again, this makes all of these math problems more concrete because they can physically see the items, touch the items, and match them so that they correspond with the numbers represented on their page. The amazing thing about manipulatives is that you can use almost anything. And usually in classrooms, you'll see these small little counters being used. However, today in this lesson, you saw us using pom-pom balls, buttons, and these little glittery balls. But you can also have students bring in their own manipulatives, such as cotton balls or small toys, googly eyes, pasta shells. It can literally be anything. And that can also be used as a strategy to get kids involved and engaged in learning as well. Hi, welcome to my classroom. We're going to be learning how to use manipulatives in reading. So a lot of people think they can only use manipulatives in math, but that's not true. 
I'm gonna show you two examples today of how we can use it in our kindergarten classroom. For our first activity with the manipulatives, we're gonna be using word families. So we have the word family AT, and we also have the word family AN. My student over here is actually going to be making words with the note cards that have different letters, right? Bat, pan, sat, bat, tan, cat. Can you make any other words with these letters with this word family? Ban, can. Awesome, good job. For our second activity, these will be our manipulatives. The students will use these to reenact a story that we read with these three characters. My student is gonna reenact what he read on a public safety website. These two people are hanging out, and then a stranger who they don't know comes up, and they say, hold up, back up, we need a social distance. And this guy says, sorry about that, and he leaves. So manipulatives can be used in a variety of ways, whether you're using them in note cards, and puppets, or any other type of one you think of.